This week we're headed off to a magical land to continue our Midwest tour. Dorothy, you better grab on the Toto, because Red Arrow's bringing a tornado of death down on Kansas this week. We're rolling into Dragon Slayers, about to start our Kansas hunt. It's about, man, it's almost 2 o'clock, 20 minutes to 2. So we're going to have to wolf down some lunch and get out in the field. A little front pushing through, which might be exactly what we need here on this, on this hunt. It's no secret that people come from all over to chase giant bucks in Kansas, but what you might not know, that it's illegal to hunt whales in Kansas. It sounds like a law that Al Gore might have passed in his whole environmental kick or something, thinking that polar ice caps might flood the country within five years or something. Another one of my favorite Kansas laws is you're not allowed to hunt rabbits out of a motorboat. You can't hunt ducks on a mule. I'm not sure exactly what transpired to create that law, but what this lets me know is there's some good old country boys and girls, also known as rednecks, just like me out in Kansas, <laughs> that like to do a lot of fun stuff. That's why some of those laws get passed. What's the word, guys? Y'all killing any? The first year we went out there, I killed a freak of a deer. Woo! You gotta be kidding me. Oh, I didn't have any idea he was that good. I didn't have any idea he was that good. I had a deer tag and a turkey tag, so we just put the, the killing clinic on the first year we were out in Kansas. You know, the second year just didn't stack up to the first year. We saw a buck. He was definitely a 10 pointer, probably not old enough to be a shooter, and I let him have it. <laughs> and I was proud to have him. As far as the management goes, you might want to hold out for a little bit at least older deer than that next time. So this year we're going to fight through it. we got some bad weather coming, and by bad I mean really hot record highs coming this week. And hot. we got some bad strap, baby. So hopefully we can get it done. We know there's some big bucks on the property, and we're looking forward to being back in Arvonia, Kansas at Dragon Slayer Hunt Club this week. What you think? <laughs> Dude, that's the one. That's the one that's you got on camera. That's him. 35 yard. Smacked him. Yes, sir. This is our first evening in Kansas. We just rolled into town. We're here uh, at Dragon Slayers. This is the spot where I killed a, a little buck last year, and right down the way here is where I killed a giant the year before that. They said it's been hot, the deer hadn't been moving much, but we got a front coming through, and uh, the rut is about to be on if it's not already in full swing, so. So that first evening we had a spike come out and some does kind of skirted us, but that was pretty much all the activity we saw. Well, the next morning we climbed up in the tree stand. This is an exciting or important day for a couple reasons. One, we're in big buck country in Kansas, and two, it's election day. We're in Kansas, it's the first morning. We did a quick evening sit here last night, but we didn't see much, so we're hoping it's more of a morning stand. It's a beautiful morning. Everybody's been seeing a bunch of big bucks chasing does, so we might be hitting Kansas at just the right time. That is the thing I've noticed about Kansas a lot, at least where we are, you're not seeing like just tons of deer. But when you do see a buck and he's older, it's, he's, a, he's a stud. Hmm? That's all I got today. Nothing about you, Larry. Oh yeah, it is today. This is either the first day of the rest of our life or the end of our country as we know it. We're either going to be eh, or in deep trouble. <laughs> no, I can't say that. Um, nope. Skeleton glasses are tough. <laughs> I just dropped my glasses off my hat. So hopefully when this video airs, we have President Trump and hopefully Hillary Clinton's in prison where she ought to be.
That was awesome, man. To see a deer react to a call like that. He spotted a buck across the beans and he was going away from us. They hit the horns together, blew on the grunt call a couple times, and he was right out there at like 40 yards. But he was all busted up, man. That's amazing. A deer could get his butt whipped that bad. Get all, almost all his tines broken off, one whole side broken off. Still want to come fight? That's crazy. But that's what, that's what the rut's all about right there. If he'd have just had his antlers, I could have shot him. That's a cool way to start the morning. We just got out here, brought my walk on target out here and shot the bow one time. I always like to shoot a bow every day on the hunt just to get that confidence up. I mean, nothing's changed in it, but it's just a confidence booster to know your equipment's on. Just 10 o'clock just now. We're gonna get in there and sit all day, so let's get out of here. Killing doe, something's wrong with you. Been slow here in Kansas, a doe just strolled in, smelled that old end game and just came sniffing. Old Hoyt ate her lunch. If y'all see me laugh or whatever after I shoot something, when we're successful, it should make you happy. I have a reverence and respect for that animal, but I'm really happy I got the opportunity and, and uh, I feel really blessed to have shot that doe. Yes, that's awesome. Look at that thing sticking straight up in the air. That's a pretty red arrow right there, boy. One tag punched and two more to go in Kansas. Well, the next morning we were back out in the half rack stand and this was one of those kind of mornings where there was electricity in the air. It just kind of felt right. It was a lot cooler. It felt like deer were gonna move. And sure enough, it didn't take long and a little six pointer starts coming out in the field. All of a sudden, I look over to my right and a giant buck steps out of the woods. Oh, Josh. that little buck out in the CRP and then all of a sudden he just steps out of that green stuff and I didn't want to move too fast and like swing and draw on him. I 
I, was, I mean, I was touching my trigger. I was squeezing my trigger when he turned and walked away. <sighs> Kidding me out of a freaking giant buck. You talking about heart breaking. Fourth day of a five day hunt, you usually only get one opportunity and that deer is gone. He ain't coming back. So. You branded yourself with the bad name. No more wasting time on you. I've had it up to here and I'm through. Lord, it's a shame. It's a good day, ladies and gentlemen. I had some bad luck this morning. I was about to shoot a buck, and he was dead downwind, but he got away from us right before he got shot. The good news is it's turkey season, and I have a turkey tag, and I found an old elk call in my pocket. And there's currently about 15 turkeys that I'm calling in, working this way. I let that big buck get away from us, but daggone it, we got us a turkey dinner coming tonight. No wonder I can't kill a big buck. I'm too busy shooting does and turkeys. Well, it's the last morning here in Kansas. Can't say we've had the most uh, exciting trip, man. The deer movement's been really slow. Did have a couple good kills. Screwed up on a really nice 10 point. He came out right here, 30 yards. And I was looking at another deer across the field. And then all of a sudden he was just right out and coming out of the woods. Got drawn on him and something up here made a noise and he busted us and ran. I was sick, man. That was my opportunity. Sometimes when you hunt different states for one week at a time, you only get one opportunity. And that was mine, <laughs> it looked like. Unless we get real lucky this morning or this evening. But this is our last day to get it done for at least this trip in Kansas. There's a half rack buck in here that's a giant. He's got like a crazy spike growing out of one side and then an awesome rack on the other side. But this is it, man, last day in Kansas. Well, a little while after the deer passed in the far tree line, I heard some movement up in the woods and I grabbed my binoculars and glass and sure enough, it's the half rack. Shooter, 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 Josh, 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 shooter. Mm. So I grabbed a bone call and threw out a couple bleats and a couple grunts to get his attention. Yeah, he's coming, but he's gonna get in our wind. Well, this daggone deer ends up circling all the way into our wind. He's scent checking us. The wind's blowing right to him. And I threw out a couple more grunts, and he ends up coming anyway.
When this afflicted broadhead hit this deer, it looked like John Cena came off the top rope and just DDT'd him, man. <laughs> I don't know, is DDT still a move that they do in the wrestling world? I don't know, I hadn't watched wrestling since I was a kid. He was cornering to me, that's all I had, Josh. <laughs> oh man, I love no tracking job. We just shot the half rack that we've been hunting in here all week. I don't even know what to say, man, I'm so pumped. This is ridiculous. Gosh, look at that buck. Great, dude, I didn't know he was that good. I had no idea he was that good. I didn't know he was uh, like a typical 10 on one side. Look at that deer. Is that not a freak? I know that word gets thrown around a lot, but he's a, he's a super freak. He'd be a hard one to fight, he'd kill you with that. That's the half rack buck, man. That's that freak buck we've been getting pictures of. He's got like a crazy spike on this one side and a good 10 pointer on that side. Man, that, that G2 right there has gotta be. What's that? That's eight. Thing's huge, man. 12 inch G2. I'm just, I'm blown away. I can't believe we got it done. On the, on the freak deer that we were trying to kill. This is a mature deer, dude. Look at the size of that thing's neck. Big old noggin on him. Get that Roman nose. You think he'll make monster bucks? That side would have made monster bucks, and then this side would have made monster spikes. This is what Red Air TV is all about right here, man. This is it. Not the fact that he's a trophy buck, but just, just the fact that we love to bow hunt and shoot things with our bow and arrow. There's nothing like it in the world. Beautiful morning out here in Kansas. The sun hadn't even got up good. And we're tagged out in Kansas, baby. We wanted to play a joke on B-Dub. He'd been wanting to move his piece of equipment on his property, and we said, yeah, why don't you come on? We'll help you move that piece of equipment. Man, we could we find out there's room back in there, though. A half rack buck fills up a lot of the truck. What you think? <laughs> Dude, that's the one. That's the one that's you him. got on camera. That's him. 35 yard. Mike. Yes, sir. I'm just thankful that I had this experience this week out here in Arbonne, Kansas with Rob and Susan and Brian and everybody that made this hunt possible. I'm really just proud to be an American after this week. And I tell you, we'll be back in Arbonne, Kansas at Dragon Slayer Hunt Club next year. I don't know if we can top this week, but we're going to give it our best shot. We will see y'all next week because we're heading over to the coveted state of Iowa and we'll see what we can get done out there. See y'all next week.